welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda from My Style Journey. Today I'm going to do a closet clean out. I'm going to start with my shoes. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm an absolute shoe junkie. It is my drug of choice. And yes, I've been giving away shoes since the beginning of the year. Um, towards, the, towards my 50th birthday, which was October last year, I realized that I had a hundred pairs of shoes in my closet and I started to just whittle that down to a, an amount which I actually wear. So I've taken a lot of shoes out over the last, I would say, year and tried to really be mindful of any shoe purchases that I've made this year, particularly since I've been on holiday to Greece and there's been huge sales on all the online stores that I usually buy from. And at the beginning of August, I decided to go on a three month shoe fast because truly I can buy one to two pairs of shoes every month and it's not necessary. Not if you're a mom who works from home and you don't have to get dressed to go to some corporate meeting every day. It's really not necessary to have as many shoes as I do. It's not warranted. And um, I love to travel. So I made a decision that from August, every little bit of money that I would have spent on shoes, I'm going to put in my savings account. And hopefully I will be able to go to New Zealand in 2020 to visit my sister. Next year, my husband and I are going to go on a cruise liner probably in the Mediterranean. So anyway, let me tell you a little bit about my shoes because that's why we're here today. I um, have been buying more leather goods and preferably ethical leather wear. I found a lovely store in South Africa in Middleburg that I think I'm going to support from now on. As we go through my shoes, you will see that most of my shoes come from Cape Union Mart and that specific group. So that would be Poetry, Cape Union Mart, Tread and Miller and Old Khaki. I just love that style of shoe. It's very comfortable and wearable and it caters for the broad South African foot. So I find that I don't have to get many blisters in wearing them in. They're almost immediately wearable. As I was saying, from the beginning of the year, I've given away 12 pairs of shoes already this year and I'm determined to clear up my closet a little bit more. I think I'm sitting at about 80 pairs of shoes at the moment. I do that's including the five pairs that are in Mozambique. Um, I keep sandals and slip-ons and slides for the beach there. Thongs that I wear when we on the quads or going for walks on the beach. Anyway let's get this shoe clear out started. So this is the cupboard that I'm working with. It is an old wardrobe that somebody gave me. It's absolutely beautiful. I painted it and now it's in my granddaughter's room with all of her clothes in it. But let me show you. <laughs> there are my summer shoes. So here's all of the shoes from my granddaughter's room. And when you see them like this, there's not that many. But this isn't all my shoes, is it? I have more shoes behind this door. Hubby bought me a shoe stand. <laughs> so I've got to sort these out as well. And then I also have the cupboard in my room. So this is how far I've unpacked the shoes and as you can see there's just too many, nobody needs this many summer shoes. And I'm going to get into these cupboards and do the shoes below here. These are all my slip-ons and sneakers and all my clothes shoes that I might have worn in the winter if the weather allowed. So in this closet, we have my winter boots, 
these are all leather boots I'll take them out in a minute to show you there's six pairs here and I'm not going to be doing any changes with this because th this little cupboard stores them nicely because there's enough space for them to stand up well this is a pair from Italy it's made with calf leather and they are stunningly made each one of these little markings is made with a tool so it's handcrafted can you imagine the time that it takes to do all of this work and they've got tassels on the side so if that ever really goes out of fashion I will just cut the tassels off I like the stacked heel that's not too high it's quite a nice wearable height that is the shoemaker from Italy these are a pair from Tonga that I bought in the Natal Midlands last year. They're also made of leather and are very wearable. I've got this little adjustable piece at the top here with a buckle. There's not too much hardware on here that will prevent it from being a wearable piece from year to year. These are a pair of cat boots. They're made with quite a nice soft leather at the bottom and a suede leather on the legs. So the combination is quite nice. I think it just is interesting, very funky inside. And I've had lots of wear out of these and will continue to do so, so they're not going anywhere. This is another pair also from Cat. They're a little bit higher in the front than they are at the back. Um, so quite a nice texture leather. They're a soft suede. They're quite scuffed in the front. But they're also lovely boots, not going anywhere. I do wear them every winter, especially if we're in the Midlands. And I love that they've got a very flat heel and are very, very wearable. These are a pair of real cowboy boots. I bought these at Poetry on a sale about three years ago. And I just like the style of them. Um, Western is very in for the Northern Hemisphere for the winter, so it'll probably hit us next winter. And they're a Holly Davidson pair. Very, very Western. And last but not least is a dark brown pair. So they're almost like this rusty brown. I don't know if you can see the color, but here yeah, you can see the two-tone with a dark brown at the top. And they're just a classic riding boot that I don't think will go completely out of style for South Africa. But as I said, when you get to my age, you wear what's comfortable, you wear what you like. You don't necessarily wear what's trendy. And these are a classic pair. So I'll keep them. This then will be the final cupboard that I have to go through. My handbags are here and my shoes are at the bottom. These are some ankle booties. Also all leather shoes in here. Um, I'm probably not going to get rid of any of these because I've worn all of them this winter. Except maybe this pair at the back. So I've just not reached for them. At all. Even though they are leather. And I tend to go for these which I also bought in Italy. Worn them so much because they just seem to go with everything. They have a worn kind of look, even though you can see that they're a little bit scuffed. Let's get going. So, just before I go, I want to say that I'm going to keep all of these. I'm just going to move them to the other room. So this is another pair that I found in my winter closet or from a winter collection. They're also from Poetry. Seem to love Poetry shoes. So this pair, I've 
hardly ever worn as comfortable as they are it's just not a look that I'm wearing at the moment and I think I've maybe worn these two or three times these are from Kush they're part of my leisure wear they're so light they really are comfy but they're just not shoes that I go for and my husband bought them for me his idea behind this was that I'll wear them if we go camping or something like that which we never ever do so I think those two are definitely going and then these Soviet tackies or sneakers I'm going to keep I always travel with these these are my new balanced um, sneakers and I also walk with them these ones from rare earth I'm going to be brutal because they're leather sneakers also bought at Tread and Miller and I've had them now for about four years and I'm, if I've worn them four times that's a lot so they're still quite tight on me they can go to a new home So this is what I'm giving away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven, twelve. I actually forgot about my boots, so I'm giving away 13 pairs of shoes. I am freaking proud of myself. I think this is a good job. Now on to cleaning the shelves and putting all the shoes away. So this is what this looks like now. I think we did a good job. These are really shoes that I probably won't wear in the summer at all. These are relegated to my winter wardrobe. So how neat does this not look? So I've got eight pairs of shoes in here, which I'm so chuffed about and I've managed to keep my cream shoes in here because they get quite dusty. In here I still have six pairs of boots, which I'm not changing up because this is the only cupboard that's long enough for them to fit in. And here, I'm so proud of myself. The only shoes that I have at the back there are my trainers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I had 12 pairs of shoes in here before and I've only got seven now. So I can actually see the shoes. I don't have to put them at the back of the closet. I'm very proud of myself. Excuse the lighting, but it's very, very dark in this part of the house. 
But here's the shoes on this rack. There's a dog crying on the other side of the door. I'm so chuffed at this. Managed to get all my shoes in and there's a little space there. Can you see that little space there? <laughs> my husband will be very annoyed. And there's another space there. So there's space for two new pairs of shoes. Maybe I can keep two pairs of these. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm really going to get rid of all of these shoes. I'm going to do the purge. Well, that was a huge exercise. I'm quite hot now. I've got a little knit on today. So I'm feeling quite warm and out of breath. can't believe that. Or should I say I can? It's been a long day. But I'm very, very proud of what I've achieved. Incidentally, the 12 pairs of shoes that I gave away before doing this purge was 12 pairs over the whole year. So it wasn't 12 all at once. So now I'm giving 13 away, so that's 25 for the year. That's really not bad. I want to try and get my shoes down to a real wearable amount. Um, please, if my eyes are looking bloodshot, it's because I was looking after my granddaughter last night. She was so, so ill. Her mother's just bringing her back from the doctor at the moment. She's got bronchitis. She's only 20 months old, so she's been so... Oh, my heart just goes out to her. It's been so, so sad. Anyway, I hope this camera's not shaking too much. Uh, thank you for watching to the end, and I hope that if you enjoy this video that you will give it a like, give me a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and share this video with somebody. I will be going through my closet cleaning out winter clothes and going through some of my summer wear to see if there's something that I want to throw away before the summer starts. Actually, it's a coolish day today, but it's still warm. I think it's probably 27 degrees Celsius, so that's quite warm for us. Thank you for stopping by. I so appreciate that you've watched this video. I really, really do. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.